From 1945 to the early 1960s, the U.S., along with four other nuclear powers, tested hundreds of bombs in the open air, like this one in Nevada, exposing American soldiers to its radiation. Now government researchers have given the public many more images of those blasts after scouring its warehouses for films that were left untouched and allowed to decompose for years. We think there were originally about 10,000 films. We've located about 6,500 of them, and to date we've scanned a little over about 4,200 films, and we've analyzed just a small fraction. This 1958 test in the Pacific yielded the force of more than 25 kilotons of TNT. Some of the films were recorded at 24,000 frames a second, allowing a much more detailed measurement of the fireballs and shock waves. After scanning them, Spriggs says the original data turned out to be off by up to 30 percent. For the past two decades, in place of nuclear detonations, the U.S. has relied on supercomputers to simulate the force of its bombs. But both the U.S. and Russia plan to upgrade their arsenals. A modernization program laid out by former President Barack Obama will cost $1 trillion over the next 30 years. While Obama called for reduced reliance on nuclear weapons, Donald Trump says the U.S. must produce more warheads to guarantee its nuclear superiority. It would be wonderful. A dream would be that no country would have nukes. But if countries are going to have nukes, we're going to be at the top of the pack. Spriggs says by showing the unbelievable force of those weapons and how much devastation they can wreak, people will have even more reason to be reluctant to use them. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.